Using paper clips. And we're going to use paper clips. First, try this roller. Don't use the ones that are connected. Okay. You have to remember. So, one, two, good. See how she's not overlapping her paper clips? And she's starting at the very edge of her item. So she can see how many paper clips long is her rolling pin. Good job, Haley. It's not a whole paper clip of this one. Right, it is one, two, three, four, and a little bit of the fifth. So you can use paper clips, popsicle sticks, so toothpicks, anything around your house. Now so practice let's do measuring. A pencil. And once they measure all their items, they can put them in order from smallest to biggest. So this is how. Good job, Haley. She puts it in a straight line, and she doesn't overlap. She starts at the very end of it's the not item. The whole one of the fifth. Right. That's perfect, Haley. Now the little pig. So you'd probably have to, oh yeah, you can do it. Just make sure you, you started his snout. Can you see? Good That's job. The whole that is perfect. Now let's do scissors. Which is your smallest so major far? Make sure do the, make sure be careful with scissors when you're measuring with them. Haley, which is your smallest so far? Which has the least amount of paper clips? The pig, right. So it's a good way for kids to learn how to measure using paper clips or toothpicks, but they're a little sharp, or popsicle sticks, but they're longer, so you'll need kind of bigger items. See, this one's a little tricky, Haley. You don't want to go around the you don't want to go around the scissors. You always want to measure in a straight line, right? So this one, it was a, not the whole enough fit, only a little. Because you want to start from the very end and go in a straight line. So that's how you measure with paper clips. I hope you enjoyed our video. Bye. And have a great day.